If you're a web developer, then the chances of having to build a contact form that includes a phone number are like 100%. While there are some libraries for this, the task is pretty trivial and doesn't warrant you adding yet another NPM module to the endless black hole of dependencies in your application. And that's why in this video, we're going to build an input that auto formats a US phone number while the user types without using an external library. And we're going to do it in less than three minutes. If you haven't yet subscribed and you like web programming videos that get to the point, then please like and subscribe so you can be notified when I share my work. The first thing we're going to do is start by creating our input field. We'll also add the ID attribute with the value of phone number to hook up our formatting function later. Now let's add the script tag where the formatting function will live. We'll also be adding the onKeyDown event handler to the input element to fire off the formatting function while typing the phone number in the input field. Next, let's start by writing the phone number formatter function. The first thing we'll do is grab the input field that we targeted earlier with the ID of phone number. Next, we'll generate a formatted input value with a future function that we have not written yet. Then, we'll take the formatted value and set it to the input field's value. So now that we have the function that hooks into the input element, let's write the format phone number function. The way this function works is it simply uses the slice method, which slices up the string at a specified start and end index, and then inserts the characters and spacing we need for the formatted look. First, we have to return if the value is falsy, and this is to handle if the user deletes the input. Then we're going to scrub the phone number for any non-digit values. Then we're going to set a variable for the phone number length. Then we're going to check if the phone number is less than 4 and return the phone number unformatted. Then, if the phone number length is greater than 4 and less than 7, we start to format the phone number. Finally, when the phone number length is greater than 7, we then return the fully formatted phone number. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the information. If you want access to the code snippets from this video, you can access them from my blog in the link below. And don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave.